Okay, so next question is, how do I actually get code running on my physical in-hand Apple Vision Pro if I already have one of those? If I don't want to run a simulator, I want to actually test all my changes in the actual headset, how do I set that up? Great question, and it is not intuitive at all as to how that would happen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, I guess, two split views here versus pulling up my desktop in my actual Vision Pro environment. There's going to be some things we do in the headset that we have to set up. There's going to be some things we have to do in the computer, and it's going to involve the headset restarting. So I'll show a couple clips there of just kind of what's going on. I'll show what's happening here in Xcode, and hopefully by the end of this quick segment, you'll be able to have yours connected up and running as well. Okay, awesome. So we'll go ahead and jump into the actual Vision Pro headset first for this one here. And what you're going to want to do is make sure you are on the general tab here on the left side of our settings window. So we're in general and we can just scroll down until we see this option for remote devices. We can select that and you should see in here, unless you're already configured, this prompt that says ready to pair. This device is now discoverable and available to pair with your Mac. Now we can move this window up. I'll jump down to my, down to my Mac view. Uh, so in here you will see within this area that we were working on the last question for simulators, that if we click on Manage Run Destinations, there are two tabs, one for simulators and one for devices. In this case, we want to ensure that we are pairing our Apple Vision Pro. So um, you'll see a prompt here if you're not paired to go ahead and click. It will ask you for a code, which will show up in your Vision Pro. And just like anything else you do with Apple, you just type in uh, what it wants you to for this two-factor authentication, and by doing so, which we've messed up, it will link your devices and allow them to communicate with one another. So better luck this time. We're connected. We'll see this pop up now as a device within this screen. And if we look back on our Vision Pro, now we have Kill's MacBook Pro showing up as a remote device. So step one of really two and a half, I guess, done. First is just making sure we're connected. So we'll jump back. And now the setting that we're going to want to look at is going to be down in privacy and security. And if you scroll all the way to the very bottom, there's an option under security for developer mode. So mine's on right now. Yours will be off. This won't even be shown as an option until you are connected with your laptop, like we just did in the last second or the last minute or two of this video connecting. So this won't show up until that's done. Once it is, you'll have the option to toggle this on. When you do toggle it on, it will prompt you to restart your device. It will actually do it for you but you'll have to restart, it'll reboot in developer mode, and then the last thing you'll have to do is, and we'll just pull this down, in general settings one last time, we'll go to VPN and device management. Right now, there's nothing in here. If we look at my Mac screen again, we select our Apple Vision Pro, which will now show up in this device list as our intended destination for running the app, and click play you will see this whole app build, and then we'll get this notice that the actual running of it failed. And in the headset, you'll see an even more explicit uh, failure reason when it talks about being an untrusted enterprise developer. So if you get that prompt, do not freak out. Click OK. In the same window that we were in a moment ago that was empty, we should now have a developer app requesting really for us to trust it as an actual um, account that pushes code to our device. So we'll trust your Apple ID, boom, boom. And in doing so, we should be able to jump back to our Mac, hit run, have this app build in the headset. We should have a window pop up, which I have. It'll take a second to build up, and then boom, just like we saw in the simulator. With three object, we can enter an immersive space, all black, everywhere around us, run the void, two more spheres floating in the distance. And yeah, we've got code working uh, in terms of being able to push from Xcode to our device, and we're primed to start working on our own projects. So, uh, yeah, second question in the books. Let's move on.